Pardon me. More tea, Vicar. Hey YouTube, XFL2708 here, and uh, this is a, a video response to um, to a YouTuber called Lukey Wookey1234. Uh, no, he's not my son, he is called Luke, but uh, th this guy's considerably older. Um, basically, he put a, a video up a couple of days ago saying, um, what's your favourite magazine stroke uh, online resource for, um, for games reviews, etc. Um, now, for, for me, that's, that, that's quite an easy one, to be honest, because I don't really buy magazines anymore. Um, back in the day, I used to buy CMVG, which is uh, Computer and Video Games. Uh, that would have, I think, been in, in, the, in the 90s when the, um, when the Mega Drive and the Amstrad 464, etc. were out. Uh, in fact, for the Amstrad, it was always Amstrad Action that I brought. That was a, that was a cracking little bit. Uh, Cracky little magazine. Um, every, every issue, I, I seem to remember, they used to have like a, a, a full game that you could uh, you, you could type in all the command lines for and run at the end, find out it was full of your errors and the magazine er magazine's errors, and then uh, that, then have to wait for the following month for them to uh, to issue a, um, a a reprint on some of the instructions that they got incorrect, so you could actually. Um, Complete program in the game to play for yourself. So that was always quite um, quite quite interesting. But uh, getting getting back on topic anyway. So uh, yeah, CMVG back in the day. Nowadays, the only time that I buy a magazine is if I go on holiday. Um, so for example, when I went um, visiting my family with the children in the uh, the, the summer holidays a, a few months ago, um, I went and I thought, I think I brought one of the Xbox 360 magazines. Um, now really that was for me to sit down and read, I don't really look at the cover discs or anything like that um, because to be honest, you know, most of the game demos and stuff I, I download online now and, uh, and, and see, you know, see if I like them that way um, <clears throat> so, so yeah, probably, you know, may, maybe once or twice a year I buy, I buy a, you know, Xbox 360 magazine or now, you know, I'll be buying a, um, a PlayStation magazine, now I've got the PlayStation 3 um, but my main resource, uh, believe it or not, is YouTube. Um, you guys do your gameplay videos, and for me, that shows me enough of a game to, to know whether or not I'm going to enjoy it. Um, a, good, a good example of that was um, today I went out and brought Dead Space for the PlayStation 3. Um, and that, um, that was on the, the, the gameplay and recommendation of a guy on here called Buried Under Clichés. Um, he, he put a two-part uh, gameplay video up for it over the weekend. Um, and I saw it and I thought, that's definitely my sort of game. Um, it, it was a third-person shooter um, set, in, set, set in outer space on a spaceship. And, you know, very similar to, you know, games like, um, you know, Doom and Quake and Fear and stuff like that. Um, so it's a game that really sets the atmosphere. It's very dark. You've got monsters jumping out at you. And as soon as I watched those, you know, even without finishing watching the, you know, the first video, I knew straight away that that's a game that I'd stick onto my wanted list, and uh, you know, pick up as soon as I could. Um, I've done the same with Mega Drive games, with um, with SNES games. Uh, you know, a lot of the retro games that I pick up that aren't for the Mega Drive, uh, because obviously I'm going for a full PAL Mega Drive collection. Uh, the games that I get for the other systems, unless they're incredibly cheap, are normally games that I see you guys playing um, and think that I'll enjoy that game for myself. Um, you know, at, at the moment I'm looking for to pick up Axelé for the SNES. Uh, that's based on the, um, the the gameplay video stroke challenge that Lefarius put up. Um, I picked up uh, Super Pro Protector the other week. Uh, again for the snares, and that was another challenge video from um, was that yeah that I think that was Lefarious as well. Uh, M Max seventy eight put some good gameplay videos up, and you know the the, the majority of you guys that put videos up um, and I sit and watch them, then uh, you know there's a good chance if I like the game that I'll 
I'll say, I've got a big spreadsheet and basically I've got a wanted list on the spreadsheet and if I see a game that I really like the look of then I'll put it on there um, likewise if, if I see some um, some some games in the shop that I think yeah that might be okay I always come home first type it into YouTube look for some gameplays and again base my decision on uh, whether to buy it or not based on what I see on the uh, the gameplay videos on YouTube. So for me, YouTube is my number one resource for you know deciding. I I don't need to go to um, IGN or Gamespot, what you know, uh, whatever they are, um, to see what other people think of the game. I want to actually see the game being played, and based on that, I'll uh, I'll judge whether or not I want to purchase the game for myself and add it into the collection. So you know, for me, YouTube wins hands down. You can't really get much better than that apart from downloading the demo on uh, Xbox Live or PlayStation Network to see um, you know for the current gen consoles anyway to uh, to see if it's a game you fancy or not so uh, YouTube for me guys so there we go I'll, I'll post that as a response to um, uh, Lukey Wookie one two three four I'll also put a, um, a, a link to, to his video in my description so if any of you guys want to do a similar response then uh, then feel free so as always guys thanks very much for watching and i'll put up another video shortly bye for now